Jenny. I'm the tiger, giraffe, and orangutan keeper here at the Jackson Zoo. And today we're going to be talking about Casper. Casper is an 11-year-old male reticulated giraffe. He stands between 15 to 16 feet tall, weighs around 2,000 pounds. Giraffes are the tallest living land mammal on Earth. Um, they can reach an average of around 17 feet, but they can also reach a maximum of about 20 feet. He licks the fence because there are several mineral deposits on the metal, and it's salty, so it tastes good to him. So Casper's right in the middle range here. They're found all throughout Africa, mainly though on the savanna and the open grasslands. So they spend a lot of their time grazing in the treetops. Casper will show off his long tongue here. It can reach around 11 inches long. And what they do is they'll wrap their tongue around a branch, strip the leaves off of it, and then they're able to access a resource that other hoofstock can't due to their tall height. So mainly in the wild, he's going to snack on acacia leaves from the acacia tree. But here at the Jackson Zoo, he gets a couple different types of hay, grass and alfalfa hay. He also gets a grain that we give to our hoofstock, and he also gets treats like lettuce, which he's clearly enjoying. Hi, buddy. You gonna come back down? If you look at the top of Casper's head, he has what's called ossicones on the top of his head. Those little horn-like protuberances. They're made of an ossified cartilage, so they're similar to bone, but not the, quite the same. All giraffes have them, as do their most, um, or their closest relative, the okapi. But it's really only the males that ever use their ossicones. The males are going to use them to kind of spar with each other, kind of size themselves up during mating season, decide who's the biggest, baddest male, and who gets to breed with the females. But that being said, the females and the calves do have them, they just don't really use them. They're more for decoration. Hey, buddy. <laughs> Getting a little greedy. <laughs> hey, bud. Currently, the IUCN, which is the International Union for the Conservation of Nature, lists giraffes as least concern as far as their threat goes in the wild. However, in the last few years, there have been a drop in numbers, and it's currently unexplained. Um, scientists and researchers are looking into it right now. The biggest concern for them is poaching. Um, they are a very noticeable, um, very interesting animal to look at. So a lot of the cultures around that area will hunt them for their meat, which is a prized possession, but due to their coat and their interesting appearance, they're also a target for poaching. But luckily, accredited zoos across the nation have a large co giraffe collection, so we are able to monitor the captive population, make sure that we have a resource standing by just in case something should happen in the wild so that these guys don't go extinct. Hey, buddy. I'm Jenny and this is Casper. You find out how we zoo, how do you zoo?